Hi, everyone. Um, it was really amazing listening to Chris Anacek's uh, opening session where he talked about how far we've come from the first KubeCon London, uh, and I enjoyed that because I was actually at that event, and to think we've gone from that a few hundred enthusiasts to nearly 10 million uh, cloud-native developers today is pretty amazing. Um, but I'm here to talk about, not about looking back, but looking forward. How do we go from where we are today to get the next 10 million cloud-native users? Because they're going to come from all over the world and have all sorts of different backgrounds. And some of them will look like the nerds, um, sorry, I mean early adopters that have built the community we are today. Um, but some are going to be students or Windows Server admins and just normal folks that expect stuff to just work out of the box and be easy to use and learn. And as they come on board, what's their user experience going to be using Kubernetes today? Well, the first thing they're going to discover is that there's no one thing called Kubernetes to go install. There's no uh, apt get or brew install, or if I look on an app store, I don't find uh, the app called Kubernetes. So it becomes pretty clear that one does not simply start using Kubernetes. Um, and the typical user journey, at least today, starts with a command line experience. It quickly dives into the depths of YAML. And for a novice user, seeing demos by experts typing things like kgetpo, it can be pretty intimidating. So it's not just about getting Kubernetes itself up and running. Right? We all know that there are hundreds of add-on projects for storage, networking, security, and more each with its own installation process and user experience. So no question right, that this is a, a fantastic, this flourishing ecosystem is really a strength of Kubernetes and is what built the cloud native ecosystem to where it is today. But it comes at a price, right? We all know this. There's not just a steeper learning curve, but switching context between different tools and the inconsistency that you have between the different interfaces, um, that all impacts developer productivity. And if we're honest, this all adds up to an often confusing and sometimes daunting user experience. So if we're going to reach that next 10 million, we've got to do better than this. Now here's a nice analogy for you. 30 years ago, Windows 95, I would argue, is what catalyzed mass adoption of PCs and the internet. Because it turns out, normal people prefer point and click usability and everything working out of the box over a command line and a handcrafted config.sys file. Right? And that leads to the thought, well, can we as a community build a beautiful, easy to use modern Kubernetes UX to unlock the nat that next level of adoption? And what would that be? Well, I think we need three things. First, we'll always want an embedded in-cluster web UI, you know, building on the role of dashboard today. Second, we need a unified tool that makes it easy to manage deployments spanning multiple clusters. And third, a fast and easy to use, out of the box experience for beginners to get started with and learn Kubernetes running locally right on their desktop. So a next gen dashboard, a multi-cluster management app, and a Kubernetes desktop experience. Are you getting it yet? These shouldn't be three apps, but one. And it turns out that the foundational technology for building this is in the CNCF already in the form of the Headlamp project. I'm actually excited to share that it's been accepted into the Kubernetes project under SIG UI. And in fact, the GitHub repo move completed just yesterday. And head, thank you. <laughs> Headlamp has a lot of the core capabilities that we need today. And we're working with many vendors and end users across um, the community to enable an, an incredible Kubernetes web and desktop experience. So let's see what that could actually look like. So I've just installed this new Kubernetes desktop app. First thing I want to do is create a cluster running locally on my laptop. I give it a name. It's created using Minikube. I get a nice overview of the cluster, and then can quickly see what workloads I have running, like pods and deployments, dig into, and even edit those details. And down the side there, you see settings for storage, networking, security, and more, all nicely organized for easy access and, crucially, discoverability. Now, we can also connect to existing clusters. All I have to do is to import a kube config. Here, I've got one that points to three clusters in different clouds. 
I'll go into this one in Azure. Um, it's a really nice visualization. We'll go into the map view. Shows the relationship between key objects at a glance. And of course, you can uh, click in to see all, all the details. Now, to install an app or an add-on component, we go to the app catalog. Now, this is actually just a list of available solutions pulled directly from the CNCF Artifact Hub. So it's integrated into the community. It's pulled from that community repository. And with just a click, I can get an add-on like Cert Manager installed and running. We also use Artifact Hub for publishing UI plugins. Here, for example, we see the Flux plugin. Install that, immediately get a Flux-specific view. It's an extra top-level item, but uh, practically anything in the UI can be customized in this way. So that's our vision of a compelling future Kubernetes user experience. But Headlamp's only a foundation. It'll take all of us here coming together to deliver on that vision, developing plugins for all the cl cloud-native tools, adding language translations for greater global reach, and um, providing that input and feedback so that it really, truly can be community-driven and responsive to the needs of the community. You can do that. There's a GitLab, uh, GitHub hub issue link here or right here at KubeCon. We'll have a, the Headlamp team at the Project Pavilion, and there's a Contrib Fest on Friday. So uh, please engage and be part of this, because together, I believe we can take Kubernetes to the next 10 million users and beyond. Thank you.